going to run through a quick 20-point checklist for the uh, GR300. I'm using a G505 guitar. All the controls are at zero and the mode switch is down. And the first thing we're going to do is check that the master volume control works. And the tone control. Now we're going to turn the balance knob, which is at zero, and as we rotate it to ten, we're going to transition into the sound of uh, distortion or hex fuzz. And now we're going to open up the filter, turning the uh, filter cutoff knob. Now we're going to add in some resonance. And, uh, the best way to check for resonance is to slowly increase the resonance control and then move the filter knob and you'll hear the, uh, the uh, unique quality of resonance that kind of gives a, a spike in the frequency point. That's with resonance. That's without resonance. Okay. Now we're going to check the uh, mode switch. We're in hex fuzz only, which is the switch in the down position. And in the middle position, we add in the sound of the uh, synthesizer. And in the upper position, it's synthesizer only. Okay, we're going to go through some of the controls now on the GR300, and we're starting off with the mode switch in the middle position, which is uh, both synthesizer and hex fuzz sound, and we're going to play and check the master tune knob. going to check the uh, LFO, so I'm going to flip this mode switch to the up position, which means we're only hearing the synthesizer output. And we're only going to listen to the synthesizer output because the LFO feature only works on the synthesizer component. It's going to be easier for us to hear the effect of the LFO. I'm going to turn the depth knob on the guitar to maximum. And then I'm going to touch the two touch pads on the guitar, the temporary pad and the latching touch pad. Temporary touch pad, the effect lasts as long as you have your finger on it. And if you touch the latching touch pad, it stays on. And that's testing the effect of the LFO depth control. Now let's check the LFO rate control. Mm -hmm. 